At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined on the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Chelsea up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, Kai Havertz, a gifted, naturally left-footed player who can dominate any game. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him today? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Four goals in the last three appearances, and he's been playing with great confidence. There's every chance he'll get another couple today. This is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good but it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And now they get the ball rolling. And the attacking options appear plentiful. for grabs able to clear the danger at least for now well timed tackle he made it look simple really Jean-Philippe Mateta now with Mateta and he could really get at the opposition. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. to strike a free kick and that's how to make a save Rhys James oh that's an interesting pass great challenge he got nothing but ball having won the ball back they might be able to profit well read to ease the pressure Kai Havertz. And Chelsea looking dangerous. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Mount and now Havertz terrific block
They favoured a short one here. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Havertz. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Slide again, winning the ball. And what's more, they've kept it. Mount. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight. tackle it'll be a throw James well sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game Mount rather than his fate lies with the referee who booked him earlier well really walking a tightrope but not seeing yellow for a second time well I think the referee's right it's not a second yellow but he needs to be careful now Piece of goalkeeping. It wasn't a bad free kick either. And unable to keep possession. And Kai Havertz. And a really powerful effort, but just over the top. tackling Rhys James Conte has it crossing opportunity getting the better of his opponent he takes aim pretty routine there for the goalkeeper well, as the stats confirm, the game hasn't got going so far and the attack in play from both sides has been really poor. But some credit must go to the defenders because they've dominated here today. Conor Gallagher. He's in with a chance. Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place, but give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? Conte what can Chelsea do from this position and the challenge halts them in their tracks clear foul play and as a result a free kick forthcoming possession of the ball with authority and three minutes will be added on for stoppages an important interception well they've lost possession of the ball oh he's really opened them up here can he put it away still alive 
Threat over for now, it seems. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Into the second half then, it's Palace with the advantage, but certainly no room for complacency. Jean-Philippe Mateta. A good and fair challenge. A bit sloppy in possession. It's a good Palace move in the making. Well, the danger is still there. I think the threat has been averted. Conte has lost the ball. Marcus Alonso. And he's taken it away. And Chelsea regaining possession. A shocking pass, really. Well, it's been quite clear that Palace have been second best in terms of possession, but their speed of attack when they... Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. <laughs> and they will make the change now. Number 29, Kai Havertz. Coming out of the pitch, number 9, Raul Lukaku. Who can they pick out? Pumps clear. And they need to get tighter. Perfect challenge. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. about that free kick I'm afraid can they hit on the break Hudson Odoi wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up so making the substitution now. Marcus Alonso. James. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Tremendous challenge. Look. Gallagher. Kuyase. Zaha. Kuyase. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. And they're making a change. 
Rudiger, the ball with Marcos Alonso, Lukaku, extremely sloppy in possession, Zaha, Conte now, Ziyech, and intercepted it. Given away by Chelsea. Kuyase. Gallagher. Can they convert? Able to clear the danger, at least for now. A really intense pressure applied. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Oh, a smart save. And that keeps them in with a chance. Well, there's still a bit of time left. Can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser? Here it is now, a substitution. Who's going to get on the end of it? A very effective clearance. A very good tackle. Must be! Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Five minutes remaining, and one thing is certain, no one is leaving because it's still close. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got... Oh! trophy it's an open question here well here's the replay and what a well delivered cross this is perfectly placed which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end it's a really good goal So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. And a fine tackle. All even, but will it stay that way? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Golo Conte. Oh, he looks threatening. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Can they forge ahead? No! And all because of the goalkeeper. Margins, margins. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. And he's lost custody of the ball here. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level, and extra time is coming up. Well, the ball rolling again, no end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back and forth type of game. Mateo Kovacic. Here's Christensen. Here's Kovacic. James. Now with Jorginho. Thiago Silva. Romelu Lukaku now. Jorginho. Here's Kovacic. 
Lukaku. Kovacic. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. And in the perfect position to read it. And an opportunity now for them to jump in front. Well, his name and number have been taken as well, Stuart. And quite rightly so. It was a poor challenge. He was right to give a penalty to the referee, and he's right to give the yellow card. Yeah. This to give them the advantage. So on with the match, 2-1 is the scoreline, what's going to happen next? Holding on to the ball, waiting for the cavalry to arrive. Mateo Kovacic. Lukaku. Excellent challenge. Well, if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. Just cutting off the supply. So at the halfway stage in extra time and 15 more minutes left. Well, the drama continues to unfold. Second period of extra time now. There could be consequences, given that the yellow card was handed out to him earlier. Well, he stays on the pitch. No second yellow card. Well, he's a very lucky boy, Derek. That was a poor challenge. A deft clearance. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. A real opening now. Well, that was easy on the eye and he didn't miss by much. Well, that's how to counter-attack. They did it with such pace. Just couldn't finish it off. showing a willingness to attack as they must given the circumstances time running out really getting stuck in and he's broken free and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger
Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, that's a penalty! And at a crucial phase in the game. An opportunity to level matters. And a timely penalty save. Well, this might be their final opportunity to draw level. And over comes the corner. Well, capable of better. Pulisic. Getting in there to intercept. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Firing it towards goal! Not troubling the keeper. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. A very good tackle. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity.